Hey, it's me. I'm JC. Jermaine JC. Is what everybody to call me. I am officially back. Um, I took some time off, and I'm gonna tell you why today with this video. So one more time, it's me. I'm JC, <laughs> or Jermaine. It's whatever I have to call me. It's me, I'm JC, just remains JC. As I say it really fast, but I talk it's a little slow sometimes. And I'm back. Um, it's been a crazy summer and it's been actually a crazy year. I realized I haven't filmed that long. And also I get on filming and then I stopped. And I get on filming and I stopped. And you know what? I'm just gonna tell you what happened. So this year was supposed to be the year I was gonna like, you know, get my shot. And then so much change on YouTube. So listen to me first. This is my little rant about YouTube, but then I'm gonna tell you about what else happened. Hold on, wait, wait. hold on, hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. <sighs> Had something to fix my lips, but I got you. So this is what happened. YouTube has changed so much. So for those out there that don't know this, hold on, switch this a little up. There we go. I feel perfect now. So, YouTube has changed so much, and that means that, like, it doesn't really cast people that will like your videos. So, a lot of people ask this question, like, probably, like, well, last year you had 100 views, 80 views, and this year I barely broke even with 10, 20, or 30, which means for me that I have to start contacting companies and seeing what I can use from them and ask them to look at my videos and actually get them broadcasting so that's like professional level, that's what's going on. And I have to actually get my content to a certain audience that's going to watch it. Which, for me, it's hard because I didn't do no advertising and I don't really know who my rhythm is or who's going to watch me. Which sucks, but doesn't, doesn't really suck completely. Now, personally, what happened was this. This happened, I really don't, I never really talked about it with no one. I talked about it when it happened to only a few people that was around me. And this is what happened. Listen, all right, I got you, I got you. So, beginning year happened, I think this happened about two months in. This happened while I was at work. And I never told this to, like, this is serious. And it's been, it's been a few months, so I feel like I can really talk about it. Um... Things that work for me is weird where I work at, and I'm not going to really talk on my job. You see on um, where I work at, that's why I work at. I really don't really add both my social media to my life. So, this one time, I worked third shift. I was asked to, I was asked to work a certain area. Listen, all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> there was this man that, um... I think spotted me a day before or something like that. Just was really interested. So yeah, it sounds really sexual. And it's, it actually goes a little dark. So what happened was this man <laughs> was in like an opposite area. There's an aisle and there's another aisle. So there's aisles that can, like they don't connect. It's like a big action alley and this man is like ejaculation. Yes, he's ejaculating towards me, about me. Yes. <laughs> and you're thinking, like, I'm joking. No, I'm just being serious. Like, he did this. And it freaked me out. I don't know what he was doing and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh. So, I didn't know what he was doing the whole time. And I'm like, he kept saying, come here, come here, come here. And like a fool, for some reason, I'm like, customer service comes first. I went closer. <laughs> Yeah, it went weird, and it got really awkward, and afterwards, I was a fan. Ooh, let me get this together still. And I'm back. So, this is what happened. That happened, and it got weird. Yes, really weird. <laughs> to the moment, I was like, oh. So, I told someone about it, like, okay, okay. And I was kind of like, no, I wasn't into it. Someone else said, oh, wow, 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 wow. And I told her, I think, a maximum of about four people. And then I had to let it go. So, eternally, what's been going on with me is this sexual assault. People will always probably ask that question, like, you're, a, a, like, I'm a, I'm a big guy. This wouldn't happen to nobody, you know, normally, and stuff like that. Like, but the gay thing overcomes the big guy. And a lot of people don't really realize this. 
I can joke. <laughs> I can laugh. I can have everything. I'm I'm a strong person. That's not the problem. I still have a lot of innocence in me. Which is something I keep protected and stuff like that. So if something like this happens, I naturally revert back to like an eight year old, a nine year old, ten year old person that's like, what is going on here? Like, mom, 29, okay, <laughs> that happens. This happens probably to women way more than it happens to men. And that's not an excuse. And this happens to men too. And a lot of people get silent. But. I just really, it fucked with me. And excuse my language, but it really messed me up. And it got me to a point where I was like, okay, I don't want to be seen. I don't want to showcase nothing. I was like, is it my fault? All those things that people say make more sense to me. And then it's like, I, 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 I don't wear something that's too tight. I do have a body, you know, gain weight and stuff like that. But I, you know, my butt stay. <laughs> it's still here. And I'm, like, on my process now recently to get right. I'm really focused now to get to the best me for 30. But this happened 28 me. <laughs> and I just kept thinking, whoa, I'm not okay. There was a part of me that was into it at the moment, which also creeps me out, too. And I wasn't okay. So that affected a lot of me filming. And you're asking this question when I said, I've always been naked and honest with you. And I've always done something where it's, whether it's creative or I told you my journey. And that process happens and it's like, but that one thing came in the room and I just did not know what to do. And it freaks you out. Um, Tom's Up's funny and Me Too is a thing too. I would never, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I think it's where men... Like, you don't think men would do, like, and I'm not, like, no young person. I'm not 20, I'm not 21, I'm not 22. I'm older. So, imagine this happened to me, what happens to younger people and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, there's something to look at someone and get attraction to. And later on, maybe you, you know, ejaculate in your privacy of your own home or where have you. But it messed me up. I didn't tell my parents this. I just... I didn't know at that moment in time I was so frozen. It sh it shook me. It shook me so hard to my core, and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and that's so not me normally. You know, I was kind of like, "Ooh!" You know, it's sometimes you you know smell stranger danger, and you just like, "Oh, go that way," or you know, someone just trying to live it one with your like <laughs> tail. <laughs> because you are who you are. And that's happened to me from time to time, too. I've never gotten a fight. I've never gotten beaten up, anything like that. I've let myself into a bubble where I I'll control most of my faith and I'll control most of my destiny. If I feel like you're going to say something crazy towards me, I learn to leave the room. So it's like I've always protected my emotional side. I've also protected my physical side. But that one moment while I'm at my job... <sighs> Change me. I'm fully healed. I feel like I am. Because I can tell you this now. And I feel like telling someone is going to get the story out to someone else. And more and more, I am thankful to the four people that I told. You know, they didn't tell nobody. <laughs> that's a crazy story. <laughs> and that's really what happened. Um, that's why I do not, that's why I have not filmed consistently for a long time. That's pretty much why my views went from like, ooh, 20 people, 30 people to just like five. <laughs> Which is okay. We're going to get back. I'm going to regroup y'all. I'm going to try my best to get y'all back and stuff like that. I have a lot of plans and let me just go ahead with my goals. I am going to be starting, um, some amateur nights to stand up pretty soon. And I'm going to be doing a lot of amateur nights, I would say in October, November, December, and I'm going to probably start working out and before my birthday. So that means this, this channel is going to still have hair and I'm trying to get you from that serious moment to back to just us talking, <laughs> but this is just the truth. I just want you to understand what's been going on with me. Because some things that happen, baby, you just don't be okay.
And that happens. I want you to understand. I could have missed work. Um, I could have missed work. I could have, you know, I mean, filed sexual harassment. I could have done so much more. And at that moment in time, I just wanted it to go away. And so sometimes what people do, and a lot of people ask this question, like, you know, about the, like, emphasis, R. Kelly, um, sexual things. Somehow, Michael Jackson still, for some reason, and all these high arc and power men. And this man wasn't like a, I don't know what he does in real life and stuff like that. I've never met him before in my life. I've never seen him after that again. And the person was like, well, if he comes back, I was like, I got cousins. I got brothers. And at that moment, the first time it happened, I was like, he got away with it. Cool. Try it again. <laughs> and um, yeah, that happened. So, let's get back to what's going on on schedule. I am going to give y'all a series of me. <laughs> yes, a series of me almost every single day. That means this next month, well, this whole month, you're going to see a lot of me. I'm going to start you off with, like, crime relief for tomorrow because this video is really harsh. I know. We had to go deep. And I'm going to give you some crime relief for the weekends. And then I'm going to have all my crime relief that I do for the weekends on my other platforms. Yes. And this weekend on Saturday, I'm going to be having off days. Got to film somehow. And I'm going to give you some get wokes. And I'm also going to give you some hair points, some beauty points. Tell you how airs got this way. And also, I'm going to talk about my fitness. Um, and I'm also going to give y'all some breakfast vlogs with me. So... One, be on the lookout for everything. Also, bell me. If you see a little bell right here, right there, right here, right there. And that's what we're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I want you to understand my truth is someone else's truth. And this can happen to anybody. Don't look at my size and don't look at my, like, just don't just think that just happens. Because there are probably people that's bigger than me that get sexual assaulted just as much as people that are smaller than me that get sexual assaulted. So... Learn from me, and we'll do better, I guess. So, and um, that's it for today. <laughs> As again, it's me. I'm JC Branch. You see, what to call me, and I'll see you with the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and um, share this video if you feel like this will sh will help anyone out there. Like this video if you understand what's going on and understand the topic. Naked and honest, true to form. I really forgot that. I just really tried my best to keep this bottle within. And that was not okay. And I feel like we both deserve, we all deserve better than what happened to me. <laughs> okay? I'll see you with the next one.